How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and welcome back to another episode of Shipping Tips for Small Businesses. In this episode, we are going to ship a tennis racket. It actually sold on eBay, but it wouldn't really matter where it sells packaging will be similar or the same. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the shipping tips. There are multiple ways to ship a tennis racket. I've actually published a video years and years ago highlighting those ways. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to it in the corner as well as in the description. This is an updated, better camera, better audio version of it, so enjoy. There's a couple different ways I like to ship tennis rackets. If the racket sold for a little bit of money, I would put it in one of these 24 by 19 poly bags. They fit it quite well. Kind of wrap it over like that, put one piece of tape around it. Because it only weighs 13 ounces, well, 12.4 ounces, rounded up to 13, we can ship this first class. Tennis rackets are inherently pretty hardy. You could bubble wrap it and still get it under 16 ounces. That's totally up to you. But for this specific racket, because it sold for over $150, I'm gonna do a little bit better presentation. We are going to bubble wrap it and we are going to box it and we're gonna send it priority mail, which is going to be a little bit more expensive, but for higher priced items, I tend to like to do that. If it had sold for 40, 50 bucks, I probably would just bag it and send it on its way. But for this, we're gonna be sending it USPS. We're gonna be using the 1095 box. It's a priority box, not a priority flat rate box, so it must be used for priority only. We're gonna be using two of these. I like to call this the telescoping box method because essentially you're gonna put one box inside of the box to create the correct size box for your item. And these are pretty readily available or you can order them online for free and I will put a link to these in the description for your convenience. Take one of the boxes, you're gonna create a bottom by folding it in, taking off this piece of adhesive and folding it over. I'm gonna do one layer of one half inch bubble wrap on this just to make it nice and snug in the box and to provide a little better presentation. I'm just gonna take my racket, put it in the bubble wrap Fold it over, fold it over, fold it back. Then we're gonna take a couple pieces of tape and secure the bubble wrap in place. Something sort of like that. And then take the box, and then you're gonna slide the racket into the box. And as you can see, it sticks out a little bit. We're going to take that other box, open it a little bit, and then we're just gonna slide that on top. You're gonna wanna make sure that the new box that you're sliding on top is gonna go over the other box. And it's kind of tricky. You might have to kind of squeeze the other box to make it a little bit smaller, push in the corners a little bit, but Eventually it should do something like that. You're gonna wanna adjust it to the length of the racket. So as you can see, my handle's sticking out. Pull it a little bit more apart. Oops, that's too much. Kinda like that. Then I can close this side. You're gonna wanna reinforce right here because you don't want the box coming apart. So you're gonna take some tape and go right along this seam, right where the box meet together. I don't trust the adhesives on the priority boxes. I'm gonna run a piece of tape around each opening. And that is what our final package is looking like. The final dimensions are 28 by 12 and a half by about three and a quarter inches. The package weighs in at one pound, 10 ounces. Because I sold this on eBay, I'm gonna buy postage through eBay because it's a lot cheaper than going and standing in line at the post office. I'm gonna print the label through my phone to my thermal printer. You don't have to use a thermal printer. They're just convenient and the adhesive is in the label so you don't even have to tape it on. You can print on a normal sheet of paper with an inkjet printer. Uh, you could also print on a normal sheet of paper with a laser printer and then you would just tape it on the package. And the cost of priority mail shipping for this from Texas to Massachusetts was a little over $11 using the, the eBay priority mail commercial rate, which gives you a little bit of a discount. Thermal printers are nice and convenient. We just peel 
and then we stick it on. I did not use signature confirmation. I did not insure this. Priority Mail comes with, I think, $100 insurance already. You could have used a tennis racket box. If you had one, that would have been the perfect way to do it. I didn't have one. You could use recycled boxes if you have one that's gonna fit. It's just up to what you have and how you wanna ship. The worst thing to do would be stand in line at the post office. If you were shipping this to a friend or a family member and you didn't sell it online, you didn't have access to eBay shipping rates, you could ship it through Pirate Ship or Shippo. I will put links to those in the description for convenience. Thank you guys so much for watching. So if you have a better way to ship this or just a different way to ship this that you wanna share with me, let me know about it in the comments section. Or if you saw me do something wrong, please let me know in the comments section and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.